Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this lecture, we will understand what is high. We have been discussing about transactional processing, analytical processing in the previous two lectures. You may be wondering why did we really discuss about analytical processing? Why did we discuss about transactional processing? We were just laying a foundation for you to understand the high because high is a open source data warehouse. We already understood data warehouse is a technology to get the data from multiple sources, compare that and aggregate that. Hive is a open source data warehouse. Where does it sit? We already know this diagram, right? This is a Hadoop ecosystem diagram. Hive sits here on top of MapReduce. So Hive is a part of the larger Hadoop ecosystem. We can see we have a SDFS here. On top of that, we have a YARN. On top of that, we have a MapReduce. And Hive sits in the top layer. We already understood in our previous sections, components in the upper layer are for interactivity. We have already understood that. So that way, since Hive is sitting on the top layer, we can easily decipher Hive is for interactivity. We understood Hadoop is nothing but a distributed computing framework to process millions of records. Hadoop stores millions of records in multiple machines, runs across different machines to crunch the data, process the data, and it is fault tolerant. Whenever there is a crash of the nodes, it quickly recovers. We already understood Hadoop has three important components. The first one being SDFS, the second one being MapReduce, the third one being Hadoop YARN. Whenever we install the Hadoop, all these three components are installed by default. All other components like Hive, Pig and all those things, we got to install them separately. Hive runs on top of Hadoop distributed computing framework. As we understood, Hive is also part of the Hadoop ecosystem, but the core components of the Hadoop ecosystem are HDFS, MapReduce and YARN. Hive sits on top of that. We already saw that as a part of the Hadoop ecosystem diagram. Now, what is HDFS? HDFS is a Hadoop distributed file system. So Hive stores its data in HDFS. Even though we call Hive as a data warehouse, yet Hive is not taking the responsibility of storing the data on its own. Hive stores the data in HDFS. In HDFS, data is stored as a files, text files and binary files. We already understood data is partition distributed across the machines in the cluster. Data partitions are replicated for fault tolerance and it helps us in processing the data in parallel on multiple machines. I'm just refreshing so that you remember it in the context of Hive. As we already understood, Hive is sitting on top of the map produce. Why is that? Hive runs all the processes in the form of MapReduce jobs under the hood. What does it mean? What it means is Hive do not directly interact with the files or data in HDFS. Hive always goes through MapReduce to process the data in HDFS. What is map reduce? It's a programming model for the distributed processing, which we discussed just before this section. And it defines the logic to process the data, which is distributed across multiple machines. And it does the batch processing operations on files in HDFS. It is written in Java using Hadoop MapReduce library. 
we understood hive runs the map produce jobs under the hood that is what we discussed as that mean that we have to write the map produce code that means java code to work with hive any idea here not necessarily you need not write the map produce code to work with hive then what do we need to do how do we work with hive we need to write a code in hive query language hive query language is a sql like interface to the underlying data where is the data data is there in hdfs hiql is modeled on the sql that is ansi 2003 standard it is mostly familiar to all analysts and engineers as we know sql is almost 50 year old now we have been working with the rdbms databases since 1970s sql is the most used language by the data analyst because sql is known to many people people who are working with the hadoop ecosystem quickly realize that people may not know to write a java code in mapreduce to work for processing of the data then they model hiql based on the sql so that analysts can write a hiql queries yet process the data which is there in the hdfs and it has a constructs like select statements group by and join it is almost similar to the sql yet it is not same then we understood that hive do not store the data on its own hive stores the data in hdfs we understood that now if the data is stored in hdfs what is hive doing what hive does is it exposes the file in hdfs in the form of tables to the user what essentially happens is in hdfs we know data is stored in the files format but we understand that hiveql is a query language based on sql if we know sql works on the data which is structured since hive is a data warehouse we have a hiveql to work on hive what it does is whatever the file which is there in hdfs it exposes that as a tables to the user in order to work with hive the user a developer or a data analyst need to write a sql like query called hiveql and submit it to the hive then what hive does is hive translates the query to the map produce we already understood hive under the hood runs the map produce job how does it do all it does is it translate the hiveql to map produce tasks and run them on hadoop that is hdfs here after that once the processing is done in hdfs it takes that results and relays it back to the user that is how the hive is working in a way what is hive doing is it is abstracting the details of the underlying map produce jobs it means one need not know the java one need not know the map produce working all they have to do is write their query in hql or hiql and hive takes care of converting that into map produce jobs and then map produce jobs will go and work on the data which is there in the hdfs and gets the result it will be given back to the user one wonderful thing is working with hive is almost same as you would work with the traditional database that is the beauty of hive wonderful then we understood what is hive and 
some of the important aspects of the hive. You have a wonderful time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.